Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys and installing my brand new Neji 30 watt laser on my Ortor laser setup. So, let's get started. So yes, I bought another laser. I know I go through lasers like every month or whatever. Um, but I really wanted to get the 7.5 watt, which is a 30 watt input. Um, laser and put it on my Ortor laser so that I could get a little bit better cutting speed and engraving speed. So without further ado, let's get right into the setup and we'll start off with the little electronic board. Alright, so to set it up it's super super easy. We just have this little motherboard thing here and we're going to take the original wire from the original laser and we're just going to plug this in to our three port here. just like that and then we're gonna take the uh, wire that has four on it plug it into our laser here and then the other side here is going to plug into the four pronged port here and it is as simple as that and so now we have our entire laser connected to the Ortor machine and it is ready to go so all we have to do now is change the mount on here. We have to drill a couple holes in the mounting plate so that it can fit this um, mount back here. I'm just going to drill two and then we will be able to mount it and get engraving. So all I'm going to do is unscrew um, these four uh, bolts here and then we can go ahead and take it off and then we can unscrew this laser and so all I'm going to do is pop it off and just like that now I'm going to remove it from here I believe should just be able to pull it like that and now I'm going to drill some holes actually in this piece because this is what's going to mount it and then we'll go from there and so I also wanted to mention because I am going to be using this as a sliding mechanism you technically don't need this but because the actual laser doesn't have any holes on the back of it I'm going to have to keep this attached I'll just show you that it doesn't have any. So there's no holes on the back here. So I'm going to have to keep this attached and attach the red part to these two holes here. Alright, so once everything is finally mounted, um, I mounted this part on here again because there's no screws on the actual laser. Uh, now all we have to do is slide or loosen this screw over here. It was a little difficult for me to figure this out because this screw actually hits these two so I had to mount it in a specific spot so that I still get a little bit of depth to use um, but again this will be still adjustable so I'm going to adjust it so it's all the way the black parts all the way up here so all we have to do slide it on hold it there and then screw it in tight. So now we have the laser mounted. Now because it is so far away I'm gonna have to adjust the air assist that I have set up down there and then we're gonna have to change the end stops because again it is adjusted more this way. So we are uh, losing a little bit of our space here but we still get a, a stronger laser. Alright so everything is set here and I actually did uh, take off my old wire holder and put it on here and now all we have to do is figure out where we want to mount this now I think I'm just going to for right now um, have it zip tied or something around here um, and just rig it up away so that we can make sure everything is set correctly and I can test it and then I'll figure out a better way to hold it down somewhere um, but other than that now we're gonna have to change the end stops so that everything uh, can home nice and not jam and then we can do a test cut and engraving alright so as you can see here I extended the wires and if I come around to this side you'll be able to see it is now able to actually sit down there 
And I also had to extend this part here. So there's actually a little piece of wood back here that extends to push this button. And so now we are going to home it again. And there we go. So now it's homed. And now I'm going to move it over a little bit and then we can do some engraving tests. So as you can see, um, I actually had to change some stuff up. So I took off the entire um, air assist sliding system. As you can see here, this is all that's left. And I actually made a new bracket and I screwed on this um, laser's up and down bracket directly to this so it's connected to our new um, base here. Now this is made out of MDF. I'm probably going to make a new one out of acrylic uh, just for safety reasons. But right now that's how I have it mounted here and it's actually pretty secure. Uh, I'm still going to try to figure out where I should put this. Right now it can just sit there. It's not really in the way. And now I'm actually going to be printing a little piece that will go here that will replace this piece of plastic um, so that we can put a new air assist here and it will just take the tube and it will go right down here and be able to use the air assist there so that's what we have for this and so I'm gonna attach the air assist to it and then we can do some more testing alright so this little piece has been now installed as you can see um, underneath there it goes down a little bit and points to where the laser is and let's turn the laser on real quick make sure everything still works and there we go so I have my home mount set up here again it's all made in MDF I'm actually going to redesign it and 3D print it to make everything make sure it is all sturdy but now I'm going to do another test cut with the air assist and see how well that does Alright, so as you can see here, um, I mentioned that I was going to 3D print a new mount, and I have done that here. So basically, um, the sliding mechanism to hold the actual laser is connected. It is screwed to this plastic plate here, and then as you can see, there are there is a groove here with a uh, bolt coming through it with a nut, and that is so that I can still move the laser up and down while just keeping it mounted to this plate here. And I have this little piece that um, I use to put under the laser to um, put the correct distance between the piece of material and the laser and I have that set up I have actually focused the laser to this distance so now again I just use this to set the specific distance and I just do that by loosening this and then moving it up and down so it's super simple it's super clean there's some rails on the side here to prevent it from um, moving side to side and to keep it uh, parallel so that is the new 3d printed mount I'll have a link to this design down below in the description for you guys to download for yourself for this actual laser. Alright guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you in installing your NAJ 30 watt new laser on your Orator um, machine setup. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. As you know, I love to comment back to you guys and as soon as possible also. Um, I tried my best to show you how I did this installation. It took a while and again, a couple setups I needed to change, but I hope you understood it all. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Don't be afraid to ask. I love talking to you guys. Um, this is a huge upgrade for me. Um, if you started with the lower wattage Orator laser, um, this could be a huge upgrade for you. Um, it's a lot cheaper. So in general, um, if you were buying an Orator laser setup, I would definitely buy the cheaper version setup and then you can upgrade your laser auto automatically to a 7.5 watt laser which is super nice and um, you get a really close distance which helps you with cutting cleanly through uh, your pieces of material. I actually was successfully able to cut uh, 1.5 millimeter plywood in one pass with my air assist at 85 percent power. It's just super nice and I actually got it down to three passes at I believe 400 millimeters per minute. 
on my three millimeter plywood which is super nice there were super clean cuts um, I will be showing that in in different videos I just really want to show the installation in this video I hope you guys understood it all and I had a lot of fun making this video again I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one bye